Hey YouTube, welcome back to QCR. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make the most irresistible peanut butter cookies. Just like the cookies your grandma used to make. I'm going to do that right here on QCR. So for the ingredient list, we have half a cup of Crisco all vegetable shortening. This right here. So first thing you're going to do is get this shortening and it's gonna be half a cup. So, we got half a cup. Dip it in here. Swirl it around. Make sure it's square. Perfect. So, in order to get it out of this, there you go, we gotta scrape it out with a knife. So, next step, after you have a shortening, we wanna get our peanut butter. How much peanut butter you say? Well first we got the creamy, Reese's creamy peanut butter. Really good stuff. So we need three quarters of a cup of the peanut butter. Got our quarter cup. This won't fit in there. So have to take our spatula. Get some of that there. Three quarters of a cup. So we'll put it in our half cup. See how much we can get in there. Take some more peanut butter, put it in our half cup, make sure it's all on there real good. A little bit more. Make sure we got half a cup. Oh yeah, that's about half a cup. Then you take it out of there, put it into the bowl. Real nice. That's half a cup, but we need three quarters of a cup. Make sure we get all that. So, take the half cup to the sink. We got a quarter cup. So we got a quarter cup, spatula. Some more. I should have bought the big container. Perfect. Take our spatula, scrape it out. Just scrape it out. So today, what you've seen is a different hat on my head. This is a getting it hat. Because you're always getting it. No matter what you're doing. Grocery shopping, getting it. Watching TV, getting it. Laying on the couch, getting it. Mowing the grass, getting it. Golfing, getting it. All the time. So, after our peanut butter, take our brown sugar. How much brown sugar? One and a quarter cups firmly packed brown sugar. So, got brown sugar. One cup firmly packed. Just kind of slide it around in there. Look at that. One cup. Slide it out. Now we need a quarter cup. So we got our quarter cup. Brown sugar. Firmly packed. Light brown sugar that is. Light brown. Put it in here. All right, so we got our milk. I'm using whole milk, whole milk for this. Three tablespoons of milk. Three tablespoons of milk. One, two, three. How much vanilla? So, next we're gonna add the vanilla. I got Adam's extract. This is probably the most expensive thing in the store. Ounce for ounce, it's really expensive for vanilla. I had no clue vanilla is that expensive. So you take your vanilla, which is one tablespoon. One tablespoon vanilla. You beat at a medium, medium pace with the mixer. So we're gonna mix it. Let y'all watch me mix it. So, after that's done mixing, 
what you want to do next is drop or combine flour, your salt, and your baking soda. How much flour? We're gonna, we are going to combine one and a third cup all-purpose flour. We're going to combine one and a third cup all-purpose flour into our mix. One. And a three quarter, one and three quarter cup, not one and three, one and three quarter cup. I don't have a three quarters of a cup. One. Two. Three, that's three. Three quarters teaspoon baking soda. Right here, I already put it, already measured it. Three quarters teaspoon baking soda. Three quarters teaspoon salt. I'm gonna mix it some more. Put it in the sink. Okay, now that we got everything done, we want to put it on a cookie sheet. I'm gonna bring you in close for this. So, let's put our cookie dough on the cookie sheet. Then we use this little device. Some people would call it ice cream scoop. It's not an ice cream scoop, it's a cookie dropper. This right here should make 36 cookies. Three dozen cookies. Look at that, guys. So, let's find out how many it makes. Oh, and I got this sweet cookie sheet. It has these little bumps on there. It's thick and heavy. These little bumps get air under the bottom. Real nice. Real nice, like $15 or something. So you just scoop it. And this is the perfect, perfect size cookie. So when your recipe says cook for eight minutes, they mean this amount of dough for eight minutes at 375. And then you drop it. It's kind of stuck in there a little bit, ain't it guys? We're gonna figure something out with that. Scoop it. Drop it. Scoop it. Kind of, they're kind of close together. See here? So, once you get it this established, once this is good, you take your little fork, take a little fork here, and you're going to press down into them like this, sideways. That one goes that way. Push them all down lightly with your fork. Y'all remember just like your grandma used to do it. I know y'all's moms probably don't know how to cook. So, after you go one way, then you crisscross it and go the other direction. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Man, right here on QCR, the best peanut butter cookies ever. The best peanut butter cookies, right here on QCR. So. See those little grooves? Oh yeah, so this is one dozen. I left a little space on this end so I can get my spatula in there. Yeah. So. Now that we got all this prepped, let's go to the oven. We got our oven, 375 degrees. All right, here's our cookies. Woo! I'm gonna end up making three sheets of these. Take our cookies, careful, careful. Put them in the oven. 375, I'm gonna put kitchen timer. Eight minutes, start. All right, so we got our cookies in the oven. We're gonna go for eight minutes. We're gonna check it out, see what happens after that. Might have to go nine minutes, maybe 10, not sure yet. We're gonna see every batch is different. So just look at your cookies, 
Test them, see how you like it. If you like them extra crispy, go a little bit longer. Right here on QCR, we're gonna do eight minutes, we're gonna check it out. All right, there it is. There they are, look at those beauties. Let's stop that noise. Let's pull these beauties out, see what we're looking at. Close that with our foot. All right, look at that, guys. Look at that. I got my cooling rack set up. Oh, man, let's see. They're still a little... I'm scared to move them to the cooling rack because they're still kind of soft. Woo! Woo-wee! These are nice. These are real nice. All right, I'm gonna let these cool and put put my second batch in the oven. Tray number two, going in the oven. All right, what we discovered from our first batch is that eight minutes is not gonna cut it. We're gonna shoot for 11 minutes. All right, second batch in 11 minutes. All right, so. Here's some of the cookies right here. This cookie here was cooked at 11 minutes. This cookie here was cooked at 10, I think. I think 11 minutes might be a little bit too long. Let's see, let's see what it looks like. Let's see what this one looks like. Let's break it. It looks good, let's taste it. All right, guys, we're going to taste it, this 11-minute cookie. That's a good snap. Real good snap. Let's try the 10-minute cookie. I think the 10-minute cookie is better. It has a little bit of crunch on the outside, a little bit of softness on the inside. That's where it's at. So... Batch number three, batch number four. I ran out of cookie sheets, so we're gonna use our pizza pan. That should pan out good on the pizza pan, yeah? All right, so I'm gonna put the camera down for a minute, and we're gonna come back in a few minutes with the pizza pan cookies, and I'll let you know how it turns out. Make sure to give me a big thumbs up, everybody. Big thumbs up. Alright, I just got all the cookies out of the oven. Let's check them out. So here is the regular cookies. And then the cookies on the cookie sheet. They're not pretty good. They're really hot still. Kind of squishy. So look how good they are. Man, that is looking nice, guys. Alright, everybody. I appreciate you stopping by my channel. I say give me a little thumbs up. Let's try some more of these cookies before we end this. So I figured 10 minutes is a good amount of time to cook these cookies. Mmm. That's so good. Perfect cookie. That is a perfect, perfect cookie. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I got some milk. I got some milk and fish. When I put this camera down, I'm gonna get my glass of milk. I made some of these. I gotta take a lot of them to work tomorrow. They're gonna love them. Those might be a little bit too cooked, but they're still gonna be eating up. All right, guys, I appreciate you stopping by my channel. Appreciate you giving me a little thumbs up. Share this with your buddies. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you again next week. Thank you.